welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray. In for today's video we are switching things up a bit. We are doing the first moving vlog in my moving series. It's true it's finally happening. We're moving. We move in three days. I have yet to pack a single thing. I am such a big procrastinator when it comes to this type of stuff. We have three days. We have to start packing. <sighs> So anyways, that is what we are doing in today's video. It is the first moving vlog of probably like only two, to be honest. We're gonna be packing my books, organizing stuff, cleaning. I did pick up a few home decor things a few days ago that I'm gonna show you guys because I need to know if you guys think I'm crazy for the things I picked out. I go on these weird shopping sprees and I'll just like pick up random stuff and then a few weeks later I'll look at it and be like, what was I thinking? And then also, because I'm a huge procrastinator and I've been putting this off for so long, we are gonna be talking about the second installment of Bridgerton. I know it's a movie vlog. Guys, Bridgerton season two came out literally like two days ago. And yes, I've already watched it, obviously. Like, are you surprised? So I watched season two of Bridgerton and then I actually started reading book two, which I know is super backwards. I know I should have read the book then watched the TV show. I actually liked Netflix adaption of the story way more than the actual book, which is so surprising to me. Usually I like books more than the movies or TV shows because there's more detail on them but no I like the show better just because in the show they kind of incorporate everyone's story at once instead of just focusing on like one character story which is what they do in the books obviously so the second one is about Anthony Bridgerton the Viscount it is an enemies to lover romance guys it's so good after reading and watching the Duke and I I was like there's no way they can ever top this story because the Duke and I was just so good I loved it so much and then season two came out and I was like okay they could actually top it. I'm in love with season two. I think it absolutely tops season one. I'm in love with Anthony, obviously. Who isn't? I haven't actually finished the book quite yet. I'm about halfway through. I'm on chapter 12. The Netflix adaption of it is so much better than the book. And I know that's really crappy of me to say, but it's just the truth. I really like the way they portray Anthony in the show rather than how they portray him in the book. If you've seen the show already and if you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. I also really love the way they portray Kate in the show more. It's not that I don't like her character in the book. In the show, they really kind of make her like this woman empowerment figure. I think they portrayed her and Antony's romance way better. And I think in the show, I like that Antony's more of a gentleman in season two than in the book. I guess reading this, I could see season one Antony being like this, but season two Antony is not like this at all. So I'm like kind of waiting for season two Antony to come out. And so far, I really like the show way better than the book. With all that being said, we're gonna jump right into this video. We have a lot to do. I move in three days, guys, and it's snowing out, so. Let's jump in to this chaotic vlog. So like I mentioned earlier, I had some home decor things I wanted to run by you guys. Sometimes your girl picks out some really weird stuff. And I just need to know if it's weird or if it's like cool like I thought it would be. So I went to Home Goods a little bit ago and I picked up a whole lot of things, honestly. So we're just gonna like jump right in and I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff I got. This looks crazy. There's more to this. The first thing I got is pretty basic and simple and I think it's adorable, but it's just these cute little dog dishes. I figured I'd get Osiris like new dishes because he's had the same ones since he was like a puppy. He's had like the same ones forever, so I decided to upgrade him. Look how cute they are, I love this. I love like the design. I feel like it's really cute and simple. And then the bowls, are these for you? They're for you, but you can't have them yet. They say bone appetite. Next thing I have is so cute, and I don't know if it's weird or not. Look how cute this is. Are you kidding me? This is adorable. Please tell me it's adorable, guys. So I just got this little soap dispenser for our guest bath because we do have a guest bath at our new place, which I'm very excited about. And then with that, I decided to get these hand towels for our guest bath. Is that like corny? But I just thought these were super cute, and I feel like I'm going for like a black and white theme in our guest bath. The next thing I got are just the cutest things. They're little mittens for the kitchen to pull things out of the oven. And the next thing I got for our kitchen are more Ray Dunn towels. It's just these cute, simple white ones to like put over our oven. It says eat and the other one says drink, which I thought were super cute. Going for a minimalistic vibe in the whole apartment. Our kitchen's white and black, I believe. That's why I'm kind of keeping like the theme going with the whites and blacks. I think I'm turning into a Ray Dunn fanatic. This is something I really love because I cook sauce every Sunday. This is a nice little spoon holder. I just thought this was cute and it's like super big. We have tiny metal ones that we usually use, but I really love that this one's like such a big one to put our 
our spoons on. This is just a simple mason jar soap dispenser. I thought this would look nice in the kitchen. Minimalistic, but like kind of rustic at the same time. I also just love like mason jar aesthetic. This is basically like a utensils holder. The one we have now is just literally like a little metal tin. So, oh, I'm so excited about this. This is like a utensil organizer slash holder to put in the drawer. I love that it's just like a wooden one. We have like a black plastic one. Like no one sees this or even thinks twice about it, I feel like, but I wanted it really bad. <laughs> The last thing in this bag is super simple, but it's actually just a marble paper towel holder. So then in this bag, the first thing I have here is just a new silverware set. This is from Target and it is a stainless steel set, but I love the color. Look at this color. I don't know if you can notice like the handles, but they're textured. We need a new silverware. We've been using the same set for like three years now and we're running low. The next thing we have are some wine glasses. These I am so excited about. I'm very picky about wine glasses. I don't know why, but I know like the type of shape I really like when it comes to wine glasses. And these are them. Cause we want to do like a bar cart at our new place. I also got a set of whiskey glasses. Look how nice and cute. The last thing I have in here is just a set of measuring cups and like spoons. It's in this really pretty gold color. This is everything I have packed so far, which is like literally nothing, but I packed up like all my craft stuff in my Cricut machine. This is just the home decor we just bought. And then these are literally just Victoria's Secret bags filled with all my shoes. But today I actually want to tackle this disaster of a kitchen. We also have to tackle the disaster that is our bedroom, which I am not looking forward to too, as you could imagine so much stuff I don't know where to even begin honestly and the thing is is that I don't want to pack up my books but I know I have to not really all my books but they're kind of all the books that I can start packing I really don't even know where to start I just have this super tiny Amazon box a Jane Austen book with four of her biggest classics I have a complete collection of Shakespeare's plays when you're an English major it's not the craziest thing you have on your bookshelf so the invisible life of Addie LaRue. I don't know why I tried reading it a few months ago and it was just something I couldn't like get into so I put it down. One of the Twisted Love series. Oh, I can't wait to read this series. I'm so excited for it. A Court of Thorns and Roses which I still have to read also. That has been on my TBR for so long. A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. To All the Boys I've Loved Before. The Cruel Prince series also on my TBR. Paper Princess. One True Love. Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. Pride in Premed Meditation. We have the Hopeless series and the Maybe Someday series. We have the Spanish Love Deception, which I literally just picked up like two days ago. We have The Hating Game, The Song of Achilles, and Daisy Jones in the Sixth, All Your Perfects, and It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. We have Bridgerton, The Duke and I, Pride and Prejudice, a classic, Anna in the French Kiss, one of my favorites. How Lovely the Ruins is just a self-help poem book. Box number one is packed and ready to go. day or two since I last vlogged. We've just been packing non-stop. But I finished Bridgerton. I'm just disappointed. Like, I think I expected it to be way better or maybe, like, get better. And it just didn't. I'm beating myself up because I'm wondering if I would have read the book first, if I would have liked the book over the show. When different things happened in the book that didn't happen in the show, I was so upset. I really didn't like the book. I think I still gave it, like, a three or four star rating because I love the idea and the storyline of the book. I just wasn't in love with the characters like I was in the show. Like I was obsessed with Kate and Anthony in the show but in the book I just like didn't like them and I kind of found them a bit annoying to be honest. It's 12 o'clock on a Tuesday. We move out tomorrow. We have a few more things that we have to pack up today and clean. I emptied out the entertainment center. I have to do that pile of laundry and I have to go through the closet of all those clothes and see what I want and what I don't want. A little bit stressed out. A little bit stressed out right now. We're gonna keep going and finish this up. 
It's 6.18. I took a small nap, which I shouldn't have because I feel like we still have so much more to do. I still have to go through the closet and like go through my clothes and figure out what I'm doing with all of it, if I'm keeping it. There's still a few more things in the kitchen that we have to pack up. And then I'm doing laundry right now also. I mean, I guess we're like almost done. I think what I'm dreading most is the cleaning aspect of everything. We have to go through and kind of like wipe down the counters, wipe down the fridge, the bathrooms, stuff like that. I'm tired. I don't want to do any of it. This is all our stuff, which honestly doesn't seem like a lot. I feel like it's not a lot, but like we're moving it ourselves, so it kind of is a lot. We still have a few more things here to pack. This is all trash that has to go out. We got rid of all the furniture in here. I think what we're going to do next is go into the bedroom and go through all the clothes and stuff. I just have to get it over with. I've been putting it off and I just need to do it. So that's what we're going to do next. Basically all packed up. It's so weird. I think that tomorrow Tomorrow night we won't be sleeping here. I just finished clearing up the closet. It's so empty. So these are all my clothes. I just bag them because like I just don't want to put them in a box. But Chris is like the complete opposite of me. And we actually put all of his clothes in a box. It's super easy because with the U-Haul, they have like these racks in the back of it that I can just like hang my clothes on. So it's like very convenient. Our closet is literally empty. It's so weird. Oh my gosh. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off this entire desk and probably take it apart, put it in the living room, get it ready to get moved. I'll probably start like moving the nightstands out and stuff like that. Other than that, we basically have everything packed up. Moving is so weird. Okay, here we go. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the Okay guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the moving vlog here. Everything's pretty much packed. All we have left to do is move the nightstands out and take apart the bed. It's getting pretty late though. We have to wake up super early to go get the U-Haul and it's just so crazy because I can't believe like moving day is already here. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you like these types of videos. You like my lifestyle vlogs, you like my book vlog and all that fun stuff we do over here. And then of course, don't forget to subscribe down below if you'd like to see more of me. I post weekly guys. I post weekly. It's basically free entertainment every single week so you might as well subscribe. With all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.